Hello my angels, welcome back to a new vlog and for those of you returning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today is a really rather busy one. We have a full shoot day today and we are creating lots of different campaigns and I wanted the house to look gorgeous. So the wonderful team at Flowerard are literally just about to arrive and they are very kindly doing the florals. But I'm also hosting tomorrow so it couldn't be more perfect that we sort of lined up the whole thing. So I am going to be creating just the most beautiful autumnal tablescape. We've also got to create an incredible silk autumnal floral display for the hallway. You guys know that unless we have sort of like a big party or we are entertaining, I don't tend to use sort of fresh florals there because I feel like sometimes it can be a little bit of a waste. That is not the case for the kitchen. I feel like the kitchen, we practically live in the kitchen. I eat, sleep, work, repeat in the kitchen. So there's nothing more special than having something just absolutely delicious and sort of standing tall and center in the middle of the beautiful marble, what do we call it? The island. There we go. Oh, I had to think then. So we're going to do a stunning arrangement, floral arrangement for the island in the kitchen. I'm also then going to be creating little vases to go around the house with the items that we are shooting. So I'm filming a really, really exciting campaign with Nina Campbell in collaboration with Next Today, all about their exquisite lighting and kind of setting the scene for one of those gorgeous autumnal cozy evenings that you are entertaining friends and kind of just how I would prep the house in order to entertain. So of course there is going to be florals in it, <laughs> lots of candles, lots of plumped cushions and um, setting a magical and cozy scene. So that is what we are filming and that is why Flowered are coming to do with the florals and then tomorrow night I am, as I said, hosting a dinner party so I needed to create a gorgeous tablescape and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to repurpose those flowers from the shoot so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of the shoot a few of the pieces that we are filming because I feel like you guys need to get a little bit of a sneak peek you'll be seeing them before anybody else before the campaign even goes live so it will also give you guys an opportunity to if you love them um, purchase them before the, <laughs> the campaign goes live um, and that will ensure that they don't sell out. So I will of course leave all of the links in the description box down below. I have had a little bit of a rommage in the uh, floral sort of pantry, as we call it, in our floral storage to just get out some little vases. These are the beautiful little dainty vases from Next. And then we've got the Rebecca Udall. And then I believe these, I think I've shown these to you a hundred times. These just came from Covent Garden Flower Market. And then this is a gorgeous vase from Next from the brand new Nina Campbell collection. So I'm going to be filling these with some stunning florals that flowered. Operate so as you can kind of get the gist it is going to be a remarkably busy day I'm going to try and juggle obviously filming the campaign with the team and just sharing lots of it with you guys so just before we uh, <laughs> run around like headless chickens this is the outfit of the day it's sort of a bit of a one-hit wonder this is my Halara dress that I've actually shared with you a few times I'm actually wearing it backwards um, you can wear it this way round, but I kind of like the scooped neckline this side, so it's so versatile. It's got pockets, which every single dress should have, and it's in this sort of like really stretchy, almost like athleisure wear fabric. Gorgeous little spaghetti straps and it's fabulous. It just means that I can like run around like a headless chicken. It's also super autumnal, and considering today is like, it's windy and drizzly, yet it's horribly muggy out there. It's like the perfect dress. If I do get a little bit chilly, I can pop like a little cashmere cardigan over the top and it looks like well put together. An outfit working from home kind of day. Obviously later on when I'm filming the campaign, <laughs> I'll be in something slightly more glam, but I will share that with you too. So let's do this. Hopefully the flower team will be arriving 
any moment and then we can get this show on the road. I think Martina and her incredible assistant are going to do the big kitchen arrangement. I mean, I love doing it, but when they're here, they are so talented. I mean, they are professional florists and I could never create something quite so beautiful. So they're going to be very kind and just pop the kitchen one together and a few of the other vases dotted around the house. Um, and then when my guests come tomorrow night, they kind of, you know, be welcome through the front door and there's just going to be something beautiful kind of everywhere they look. I'm wobbling on, as per usual. Let's get this show on the road. Here they come, here they come. Here are the girls and there is nothing quite like a flowered delivery to brighten up what is a rather gloomy day. your eyes on quite possibly the most stunning autumnal arrangement I have ever seen. It is just the most breathtaking combination of the most stunning florals, foliage, cow parsley, roses. It's outstanding. You've got the golden leaves, the little hints of burgundy, the greens. They are absolutely absolutely stunning but something that really took my breath away is I have a little look at this they are branches of little teeny tiny apples oh I can't believe this I am shooketh actually if truth be known and this is what I mean I mean I just could not have created something like that I would say that I am really rather creative but that is an absolute masterpiece and most certainly a wow moment. And I think it's one of those things that the closer you look, the more beautiful it gets. Just look at those golden tones of sort of almost fiery orange and then the peach spray roses. I'm not actually quite sure what those are called. So for those garden experts on my youtube channel please do let me know what you what you think those are called and um i actually know that you can take a picture of these florals i might actually do that you can actually take a picture now of a flower or a foliage in your garden so hang on a moment let's do that together so i can show you because i was absolutely flabbergasted myself so if i take a picture of that flower like that and then if you click this little neat button down here, and you say, look up plant, this is a treasure flower. Hmm, do we think it's a treasure flower? Hmm, I'm not sure. Doesn't look like a treasure flower. Okay, well, ignore. <laughs> Normally this is rather spot on. Maybe it's a, a distant family member. <laughs> Anyway, so as you can see, I'm kind of getting a little bit organized re the tablescape, but I can't do the tablescape until we've shot the campaign because I'm going to be creating the posy vases to just dot around the library and the drawing room. But here, do you know what, guys? We're going full pumpkin vibes. I'm not quite ready yet for an orange pumpkin. I think that's slightly more Halloween. We're going classic, timeless, but uber, uber seasonal. We're going rustic, so we're sticking with natural raffia and lovely little sort of frayed, strawy type runners. So it's going to be utterly delicious. So let's head actually back into the scullery and let's start creating these beautiful posies together actually stuff that <laughs> before we head into the scullery just want to show you the rest of the beautiful floral arrangements doesn't that look so pretty and i just love the fact that you can just introduce so many different colors whether it's really light pastel colors for spring or whether we're going vibrant fuchsias and all of those delicious colors for high summer and then if we just bring it down and make it super cozy and autumnal it just works don't you think so we've got this beautiful vase this is 
Um, I'm not quite sure where we got these. I will link them down below and they actually do come in sets of three. But look at those leaves, the little roses and these little pieces here. And we've still got some gorgeous cow parsley there. But look at those burgundy centers. It's beautiful. Those fire colored florals, they're stunning. And then we've got the little Holland Cooper candle. We've got the diffuser and a pair of dashing dachshunds. And then we've had a bit of a makeover here. Normally we've got the very, very tall lamps, but these are the brand new Rattan lamps from the next Nina Campbell collection. And this is what we are filming today. Aren't they beautiful? I mean, just have a little glance in there at the detail of the beautiful brass. And I just love that golden light that it casts. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I thought this is the perfect position in which to shoot them because you get the reflection of the three graces behind us, a little hint of the golden chandelier. And I just think this console table is pure perfection. And of course, Flowerard has created a very sort of dainty but delicious floral arrangement with those beautiful, beautiful florals. I mean, this is outstanding. Outstanding. So these are two that we will be shooting here and I'm thinking, you know what, it's all about setting a cosy and warm and inviting scene when you are um, entertaining. And I think that is one of my passions. I just love sharing my home with people and having laughter and making magical memories with people and welcoming them into our home. So hopefully I can, I can portray that through my content and um, just creating just the most beautiful and magical setting. So let's head into the drawing room and I will show you a few of the beautiful there are these like small, almost like leopardy, tortoisey, oh, that honestly they're scrumptious and I know you guys are going to love them. So let's head into the drawing room. Then if we come in here, these are the gorgeous lamps that we are filming today. I love them. So if you look quite closely, I will actually show it to you turned off just so that you can see. It's almost a little bit of a combination between tortoise and it was like a leopard print glass lamp. It's got a beautiful gold base to it. And I've popped in one of those sort of, I wouldn't call it the harsh bright white light bulb. It is one of those slightly more um, golden tones of light. Got a gorgeous pair of sausage dogs and then these beautiful little bamboo antique tables. But it's just a gorgeous area in here of which to shoot. It just creates such a warm atmosphere and I just think the colours in here work so well. So I can't wait to have them just dotted around. There are two more up there and then I have another one just popped over there. So I'm going to turn those on, show you what they look like. And then this is the beautiful floral arrangement. Look at those hydrangeas. I just can't believe that nature can be just so beautiful. They are this almost, they're coming up a lot pinkier on screen than they are. They're almost matching our burgundy futon. And then this is a very, very, very special piece. This is a solid crystal Tiffany um, vase. And it's actually my parents, solid silver. And my father always says, what? earth do you put florals in such a beautiful thing and I'm sort of like well it looks a little bit empty without florals in it <laughs> so oh gosh he would be screaming at me if he saw what I've done to his beautiful crystal bowl but I think it looks stunning with hydrangeas in it and then we're also shooting this today so this is the gorgeous sofa these are the beautiful Nina Campbell cushions I just love the detail just to show you 
this is the Nina Campbell Home Collection for next. And they call these the Suzani Embroidered Border Cushion, 100% cotton, and then the lining is polyester. You've got feather inners and they're 45 by 45, so they are the perfect square. So I think that they go beautifully on this sofa. So perfectly plumped cushions. Oh, the gate bus is going. Bear with, these are the gorgeous leftover florals. Oh gosh, I've fallen head over in heels in love with these. So let's create some beautiful posies. First to shoot and then to create a magical tablescape. So that is the first little arrangement done. I've gone with those oranges, very, very pale peach, that exceptional Grand Prix white rose, a little bit of cow parsley, and then those golden leaves. Sort of that song, autumn leaves under frozen souls. I love that song. And in that beautiful, almost like white, I would say little splodges of white paint. It's fresh, it's pretty. You can kind of see through it slightly. It's such a beautiful design and I love the shape of the vase. It's also great quality too. So I feel like this would bounce, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna pop this in the drawing room. I'm going to do a few tiny more posies and then we will do the rest together. I will talk you through it, but I'm under a tiny bit of time pressure to start shooting and get this campaign shot. little posies are going to be the perfect amount to shoot some beautiful lamps and in the drawing room I don't want it to be too overpowering because I am quite conscious there's lots of colors going on and the star of the moment is really the lamps it's just to make it look really pretty and to dress the drawing room I think that's where I feel it's so important that every single element when shooting a campaign is just pure perfection but when having beautiful florals like this it's so important that you also enjoy them and love them so I think it's gonna be it's gonna be perfect that I can also use them for my gorgeous dinner party tomorrow night the outfit is on and I'm really rather flabbergasted by this dress this is a gorgeous burgundy very very deep rich purple burgundy velvet next dress I tell you what this is quite phenomenal love the off the shoulder it's very supportive on the chest area figure hugging yet doesn't cling to those parts of the body we do not want to show and the perfect length I popped on a little pair of black painted Jimmy Choo numbers and for the price point this is insane also sporting boodles boodles of boodles and we are literally just about to shoot the campaign. So the gorgeous Ellen is behind the camera and she is going to share the BTS with you guys. Got Anna with Ronnie and Rhonda. And um, yeah, let's shoot this epic campaign for Nina Campbell and next.
just my hand like doing the switch. Shooting this campaign, just wanted to give you a real close up of the colour 
of this gorgeous dress is definitely <laughs> turning out actually somewhat better than what I was expecting. Just the colours and the way the story and all of that has come together, it's, it's going to be very special. So we're now heading into the library to shoot the last little bits and then we will be shooting the sort of matching imagery so that the brand gets the whole package as we say. So let's do this. I need to really dry as you've got. She was dropped in a puddle yesterday. <laughs> there we go. And now in focus, fabuloso. red wine that has been open for a while <laughs> and reading the connoisseur mark one from 1929 actually do you know what guys i'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up of this because just having a little look at what's inside this it's all of the antiques from different um antique galleries so this is for antiques visiting birmingham this is George Hoeg in Frankfurt. These are just incredible books. I just saw Hanover Square. It's amazing, we're, we're kind of shooting content and then I get too fixated on actually reading what's in the book than <laughs> looking at the camera, which is never a good thing, but this is such a special book and actually something I should spend a little bit more time doing. Look, Burford's. So this um, antique store is still open probably in somebody else's hands because this book, as I just said, from 1929, which is quite remarkable really. So we're going to shoot the final part, which is a matching imagery. And I will see you guys probably when we have finished at this point. So see you in a bit. My comfies are back on and the sun is coming out. It's amazing. So we need to finish this, well finish it. We need to create the whole thing. <laughs> we have finished filming the campaign and so we've collected those little posy vases up and I've got to finish the rest of them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six left of those gorgeous little next ones, three of the Rebecca Udall, and then six of those really pretty little sweet ones there. Um, and oh gosh, I've got so many exquisite florals here. I don't know whether to do a few slightly larger arrangements. Maybe I'll go and actually get my slightly larger green vases. Just introduce a little bit of green into it as well. And then we'll create the entire tablescape together. And then we've got to head into the hallway because I used the kitchen florals in the hallway just to shoot the campaign. I have just popped those back. So we need to create a gorgeous silk floral arrangement that creates a wow moment when you walk in. So let's do this.
assistant here. He also took part in the shoot today. Yeah. He was the star of the show. The star of the show. You guys just come sit. I'm like, oh, can't miss out on any kiss. He's, oh, my little pumpkin. He's little pumpkin. Hmm? You look like these flowers. They match you. Look, they match you. Maybe we'll have to put you on the table. You could be the centerpiece. Yeah. <laughs> Too cute for words. Oh, these. I just can't get over these. These just keep taking my breath away. So beautiful. in the kitchen with a very very bare looking table but I really like actually starting from here so that you guys can see the bare bones as my husband would say the bare bones <laughs> um, so we have got a very schnoody looking table and as you have seen from all the florals we have been creating we're going with the full golden autumnal vibe today oh it's just so cozy i can't bear it but it has actually in fact turned into the most gorgeous afternoon there is some sunshine and some blue skies so that wind and drizzle has off and we've got the most gorgeous afternoon so let's potter and create the most beautiful rather rustic um you're gonna get sick of me saying it <laughs> autumnal tablescape so first things first two things you have seen a hundred times but i bang on about them all the time because they are sensational amazon get a roll out well you get a few rolls i would suggest adding probably like three or four to your basket they're cheap as chips they are sort of like rattany natural straw like hessian and you can use them for so many different things and i actually put two together and create a really rugged rustic table runner and then these are edition 94 i literally use them every single season whether it's spring high summer autumn winter or christmas this like natural straw goes with everything and I just think with the green rim, whether you're going for, you know, a green look or whether you're just picking up the fresh greens that are in those florals, it looks fabulous. So as you can see, this is like frayed around the edge and it kind of depends upon how you snip it, but I really like it. Now just make sure that it is central and overlapping perfectly. And then I'm going to just dot these around. One, two, three, four. And I think I might actually leave the heads because we are only eight guests tomorrow night. One, two, three, four, perfect. That looks fan tabby dozy. And then as always, I always start off by placing the largest floral arrangements. Now, because we've created three and none of them are exactly the same, it's important to find 
what we call our showstopper. So your favourite one of the largest floral arrangements that you have created. So do you know what? There's actually one that hasn't got one of those gorgeous little um, delphiniums in. So I think I'll put the one that doesn't have it in the middle so it's central and then place the other two. So let's pop that one here. Always a good tip is most of the time lighting happens to be directly above the centre of the table. Luckily enough, we've got a big um, slice in the middle of this one, so it does give it away as to where the middle is. And then this is the other. And I think that looks really pretty. So it's definitely going to be a simplistic table. And then these are our gorgeous little next posies. The value of these, oh fantastic. And look at how beautiful they look. Simple, yet stunning. So we have a fair few of these. I think I'm going to use the ones, these ones first, because those are the ones that have got the roses in. And what I tend to do is actually stag them out in sort of diagonals. Kind of makes sense in just a moment. So you kind of put, do, 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 do. I sound like when I'm doing my contour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For those of you who are used to my YouTube channel, there's a lot of sound effects. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's an absolute must. Right, that goes like that. Gosh, we have so many florals. It's a great problem to have, and it's so lovely that I can repurpose them. Right, let's pop these three. So I think one can come here, one can go down here, and then the final one, the final countdown. Do 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 do. Where can this one go? Maybe in there. There we go. That looks gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Something that's a bit much there. Maybe I might drop that one here. Very sweet. And then I created these gorgeous little vases with these beautiful little florals that I don't know the name of. I'm not going to pretend that I do. And I think that they're so sweet. I actually just kind of bunched them together and I quite liked the wild and whimsical look of them. And it just adds a different dimension to the table. So there's three of those. So I kind of think that they potentially need to go do you want me to those actually look quite good being? Mm. Let me think that this one has a different height as well, which is great. So that one can go maybe. That is such a good gap there, so. Hmm. And then that is, I suppose, the other gap. I just don't want them to be too close together. Perfect. Now, we are moving on to accessories. And what I should have probably done is actually place the candles. Now, because our candlesticks have burnt, I, this must be my husband, because <laughs> this is far too good for me. I don't think I am ever as on it with blowing out our candles as my husband is to ensure that they're all the same level. So these are from, I don't know whether they're culinary concept or ochre, but I will find similar and link them down below. I'm literally just going to Sometimes I stagger the candles, however, with this tablescape, I think there's enough going on that we can just pop them in a straight line. And sometimes I do stagger them because the heights are different, but we do not have that problemo today. So this little vase here, there's one of these. So I think I might actually pop this in the fireplace. I think that will look really pretty sort of decorate that area and be quite a dark, dark gloomy area to look into. Now, as I was saying earlier, I feel like it's acceptable to use white pumpkins. We're not near Halloween just yet. I feel like it's far too premature to bring out real pumpkins. So I've got these gorgeous little white ones. Again, you can pick them up from Amazon. There's so many different places selling them. And I think it just lightens the table a little bit. And then 
the sort of more towards October we get. I mean, I literally go into the garden and, well, I say I, John loves the blowing machine, the leaf blower. Honestly, we had to have conversations as to what time that man starts leaf blowing. It was driving me berserk, <laughs> in all honesty, but he has very kindly been saving up some golden leaves for me. So they're currently drying and, you know what, slightly more towards October, maybe late September, we will start to actually use them on the table. However, I think we've got enough going on at the moment. Now we've got some pumpkins. I don't know whether we, they're really necessary. There's a lot going on here. Oh, they go gorgeous. These are a little Mrs. Alice purchase. Um, I don't know whether she has launched this year's sort of autumnal collection yet. I haven't actually seen it myself. So if they have launched their autumnal, which I would have thought they probably have done, I will leave it linked down below and I will find a similar option to these because we literally bring them out year after year. So they go beautifully with the white. And then I'm gonna just dot the greens in between. Again, I think it might be a situation where the two kind of work. I mean, I feel like that's just a touch too busy. I put a third there. Maybe. No, I think two work perfectly. Maybe that sort of there. That could work. And then bolters. Can never have a good tablescape without lighting. It is one of the most important parts of a tablescape. And you guys have seen these a thousand times. These are my ochre little artichoke voltives, tea light holders. So we're going to strategically place these around the table. One, ensuring that they're not directly under a floral because you don't want to burn the house down or burn your beautiful flowers. And also kind of filling in any gaps. So that's plenty this side. Have a little look at those little Gappingtons. Little Gappingtons there. Yeah, that's fine. Swivel that slightly so it's not above. Table that can go there, that can go there. Fantastic. And then any final gaps, use your salt and pepper. Salt and pepper mills are perfect for filling in any gaps. So I kind of have a gap here, which I don't really like. These actually could do with a very good polish. Oh, right, and another little gap would be here. And that means both ends of the table can get to a glass. And kind of the napkins that I've had on repeat are these gorgeous Rebecca Udall white, fresh white linen with that beautiful green stitching, little piping around the edge. They're fresh, they're absolutely gorgeous. So I also have my grandmother's um, little dragonflies on them. And they're so pretty, so dainty, and add a little bit of a sparkle to the table. I don't want to take away from the gorgeous florals. So it's kind of the floral arranging that takes the time. And what I would suggest you do is collect all of the pieces that you think you want to use and do all of your prep. So fold your napkins, pop your napkin rings on, um, get all your, your voltives together, and then the tablescape actually comes together really rather quickly. So literally just like that, in a matter of, uh, I can't read from here, but <laughs> a fair few moments and yanting on, I'll tell you what, I need to go and get two fresh white linens because these are looking a little bit used. Here we go. Fantastic. Now, Mark and I, do you know, sometimes we'll have like a sofa evening, but sometimes we just sit around this table by ourselves and um, we'll use the napkins and we don't clean them every single night. You know, if the napkin's not filthy, obviously if we're entertaining, we've got guests and we're all using the napkins, then fine. Um, but yeah, we'll probably get around about two or three uses out of the napkin because I'm not washing and ironing these every single day. <laughs> nope, do not have time for that. 
Okay, and there is the final little napkin. Now, glassware. Should we do glassware? I feel like glassware is going to make it. I'm not going to lay in terms of cutlery this evening just because we've still got to do the faux, the silk arrangement in the hallway. And best daughter award goes to, see that halo, the little angel halo above my head. That goes to me. <laughs> I have promised my parents that I will collect them from the airport this evening. And it will actually be the first time that they see the BMW. So I'm gonna go and collect them in the BMW, but I've got probably about an hour before I need to leave. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to head to the airport to collect them. And as I said, I'm hosting tomorrow night. So my parents and then a few of our friends. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be gorgeous. I'm sadly not going to be filming tomorrow night because I really have not seen my parents in, gosh, since my birthday. And I just really wanna spend some quality time with them and Marcus and it's gonna be gorgeous. So um, yeah, I hope you guys, I know you guys will understand. Gosh, you guys are always so understanding with things like that. Anyway, wobbling on as per usual. Um, and I feel like I'm also like motorbound for some reason today. Like a major headless chicken vibes. Now I've got my beautiful Rebecca Udall. Yes, here they are. These are gorgeous. Now there's so many names. I want to call these the Princess Diana glasses. They're probably not that name. I don't know whether the Princess Diana. There was like a Diana vase or something. Anyway, we're renaming them this. <laughs> it's probably not their name at all. And I will leave them linked down below, but they've almost got like a little family crest. They're so dainty and so beautiful. And also they double up as little vases if you want to. But I'm gonna use them as the glasses. So glasses always on the right. And they look gorgeous. So do you want I'm ahead of the game. I'm one step ahead. So I would always personally recommend to do your tablescape the day before your guests. Uh, as long as your flowers permit and it's not too hot in your house, you can do all of your floral arranging the day before and just keep your flowers outside but underneath shelter. Learn that one the hard way. I mean, once I put all the florals outside, you will laugh. We had like a full shoot day. I was filming campaigns. I was filming for you guys. We were creating the most amazing tablescape. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I think it was Valentine's and the roses. We'd done a really big shoot, that was it, in London. And I had all of these pale pink roses. And I was like, I have to do something with these. So we did Galentine's. But I'd had the roses for really quite a few days. So I was trying to really keep them alive. And so I put them outside. Anyway, the next day I went to go get them. And John had put them on the bonfire! <laughs> oh my gosh, I literally had a sense of humor failure. I was to be seen with no feet on, rummaging through the skip to get some of them. And then on the bonfire that was actually lit but hadn't burnt the side with the roses on. And then I had to do the whole thing again. Anyway, moral of the story. If you do need your flowers to stay alive, put them outside and put a huge sticker on saying, do not throw away. Oh my gosh. I definitely had a few words uh, coming out of my mouth that afternoon, I'll tell you that. Anyway, guys, I think I might actually have to take you off your tripod. I'm not quite sure why I walked over here. Anyway, I'm walking back. Um, I'm gonna take you off the tripod and give you a close up of this dream autumnal tablescape. And here we go. Gosh, you guys have seen this kitchen with quite possibly every single color scheme there is. But it just goes to show that, you know what, if you try to amalgamate lots of different colors, but keep it natural and tonal, you can make anything happen with oranges and burgundies, but pinks and blues and gosh, we've done it all in this kitchen now. And I am over the moon with how this has turned out. It is so, beautiful these dark rich burgundies with the beautiful vibrant oranges i mean if somebody said to me an orange tablescape i would have been like mm, i'll 
the past, thank you very much. However, I think this is one of my favorites yet. The gorgeous golden leaves, this beautiful, almost like peachy, but have got little bits of burgundy on the edges of those delicate little spray rose petals. We've got Grand Prix roses, we've got cow parsley, we've got these spectacular little numbers that I'm awaiting for you to let me know what they are in the comments down below. The wild and whimsical, delicious florals, the vibrant fire red. It just works and works so beautifully together. So that is my tablescape for tomorrow evening. And do you know what? Lots of these florals you can get in the supermarket at the moment. But if you are close to Covent Garden Flower Market, there is also an amazing flower market. Um, I think it's uh, not far from Heathrow Airport. So if you're not far from Heathrow, I'll get the name of it and I'll leave it in the description box down below. I haven't been there yet myself. However, I have had friends and my mum's best friend, who I call Mummy Amanda, has been there hundreds of times. And she always says to me, you know, I don't know why you drive all the way to Covent Garden Flower Market because the one near Heathrow is fabulous. So we're gonna have to maybe go there one day together, but just to give you a glimpse of that outstanding standing oh, display there. It is truly sensational. I think my mother is going to be blown away by this arrangement and just the team of Flowered are so beyond talented. This is, this is outstanding and these apples are pure perfection. Just look at that. I love a floral display that when you look really closely, there's so many different elements. Look at that gorgeous purple in there. And those rich burgundy purple cow parsley pieces. Oh, heaven on earth. We are in the hallway and we're gonna take it from spring summer vibes to just the most magical color palette of autumn. We're gonna go with sort of those deep, rich burgundies we've got some really beautiful rose hips and berries i've also got these little numbers i've got some dried hydrangeas i've got some cretin children in here if you stay in here that means no tinkling in the formal rooms okay they're very naughty yes wiggy i actually don't trust you no you're gonna leave me a gift that i just can't dealing with today can't you know? He's already on his way to the drawing room for <laughs> a number two. There's no more key, right? You're going in there. Only you can sit with me. He's a good boy, aren't you? Now we've got some beautiful dried hydrangeas from last year and I just keep them because they last for years and years. Now before we start, my camera is flashing. <laughs> Yay for me! I feel like it's been one of those days today. I'm going to run into the kitchen quickly, grab a new battery, pop this one on charge and I'll be back in a jiffy. Now I wish it was as quick as that. <laughs> right, let's get rid of this and it really is as simple as that. So I'm going to just pop that delicately down there and then it's always a tricky one. I don't know whether to like get everything out of the bucket or whether to sort of pick piece by piece. I think it might actually be better getting everything out. I'm definitely going to be using these gorgeous rose heads. Look at these. They're stunning. I'm putting them all out. I might ruin another one of those silk or worse pull out and damage those hydrangea petals have a little look at these aren't they gorgeous so these are going to be the base of our arrangement as always i try to design this arrangement from all angles so that it looks pretty when people are coming out of the dining room when people oh, excuse me young man no no, no, come back here. Thank you very much. <laughs> you guys are probably like, Leo, look behind you. Yes, you are so bad. No tinkling, thank you. Look at these, aren't they gorgeous? They're so pretty. Look, they match my dress. <laughs> okay, considering 
We have had a very, very full-on day today, and remarkably in a good mood. Sometimes I just get a little bit overwhelmed. The girls have left for the day now, and in all honesty, I still have an obscene amount of work to do. So we're going to get this done, and then I am going to have to get quite a lot done before I head to the airport. I love these. These are gorgeous. These are going to look absolutely phenomenal. We need more of that. I think we're going to go super dark, really like dark academia vibes. Okay. Right. Playing jiggery pokery, just trying to be very delicate with those hydrangeas. And I'm going to use those berries. I'm going to use that golden cow parsley. Um, we need more of this. We need foliage. Okay, guys, I'm going to pop you on a time lapse <laughs> and come back when I'm slightly more organised. like maybe I've gone a few steps ahead however I just felt like it was important to get all of the sort of foliage and leaf type um, you know branches that rose hip those gorgeous golden leaves here the eucalyptus in before we can start really adding those important parts just going to add this gorgeous uh, cow parsley well like the cow parsley it's almost like dried cow parsley and, and a little bit what it looks like at this time of year which is perfect that's why I always try to create seasonal pieces it is just that little bit you know prettier special and in terms of finding silks obviously you guys kind of see it all on this youtube channel you see from fresh to silks but there are so many incredible places that you can buy these from so on a few of the <laughs> branches i actually leave the little labels on just so that i can remember where i got that particular piece from so these are from neptune ochre do some fantastic ones and i've also got an array of different brands that I shop and I will leave the whole list of my top silk brands to use. Now because I don't have that many stems of these, I want to, it's really important that when you come down the main staircase, you get a beautiful view. And then obviously kind of the main view is from the front here. Guests coming out this side, I've got quite a lot going on that side. I think I can bend this slightly. It's also the best thing about using uh, silks is that they are normally created on wires so that you can bend them in any direction that you need the flower to stay and obviously with fresh you would match them all I do sometimes try to like tease a rose a certain direction and then snap <laughs> great <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with these I think they're gorgeous and just add a different element height and texture they're these gorgeous little pom-pom balls and hang on a second I'm fighting with a hydrangea there we go and look at them aren't they sweet they're like little pom-poms and they're perfect we add a little bit of fresh white in as well I'm literally going to go around in a circle and just place these exactly where there are gaps you can create a real wild whimsical loose and divine floral arrangement okay and then this is probably going to see us through until <gasps> christmas guys i am so excited we have got some mega mega plans if we can pull it off it will be sensational if i'm allowed to say so myself Right, that's going in there, and I need one more. Yes, perfect. That's going to go that side there with that fabulous eucalyptus. And then I have got these gorgeous little white berries. I don't know whether they're more Christmas. Mm, I think they're shouting more Christmas to me, and I think we've got enough going on. And I also, oh, here we go, another one of those gorgeous 
golden pieces here. I think I'm going to pop that in too. Right in the centre, she has some. Oh, you could actually put it in the vase, Leonora. There we go. Ah, oh, ah, oh, fabulous. Okay, now we're going to just simply place the hydrangeas where we want them. I need three, and we kind of want golden tones. So I would say that's got a little bit of blue rim. That's gorgeous. And that is gorgeous. But I don't know whether it's going to actually... Oh, I don't know much. I'll put that one back in there for a moment. And that one back in there for a moment. And see how we get on with these. Let's really sit. Right. Um, I think I've got to be embedded in it slightly. That one looks good in there. slightly. Now what could we do? We could do these. However, I think they might be just a little bit too much if you ask me. We need something amazing to come out of the top here. Um, she's thinking, she's thinking. We could do these. Or do we think they're too much? We could just kind of you know what, especially when you've put them away <laughs> for the whole part of the year so far, they sort of get a little bit sort of all stuck together really. So you might have to spend a little bit of time detangling them slightly. But what we could do is use them a little bit like how flower art has used them as like sort of like a, a show stopping piece with those apples. They were outstanding. I reckon just get this to stand Drew attention, I think it's too much. Now, one thing I would suggest is you can always add more. However, trying to pull them out is a nightmare because you can imagine the stems are all entwined now. Now, I would say this side looks a little bit heavier than the other. And this bad boy is a bit floppy. So you need to do your part, thank you very much. And now we need to start back from here. That's looking better. It's missing something on the right hand side. And I don't know what it is. Something over there. What can we do? What can we do? And as I put this in this section here, and it is all of those golden tones. Let's have a look. I've only got one stem of these. I'm going to look and see if that looks too much. And then, no! And it's filled the gap! Oh, I love it! Okay, I actually personally feel like a few of these, and I'm talking like three stems, is going to make it. Okay, right, let's stand back again, and let's literally strategically place these. Okay, we definitely need one, probably the biggest one this side. Up there like that. Great. Fantastic. Okay, and then I actually think potentially just two and one. Maybe one at the back there. Come on. I'm going to go in there like that and then on this side. This is a bit much. You need to go up there and stop going into somebody else's territory. Thank you very much. And then that needs to go there. 
Okay, drum roll please. We're stepping back again. Oh, I love it! Oh, it looks epic. Okay, I've got to track the angles. Okay, from this side, it looks okay. This side is just delicious. Now, I'm going downstairs. What do I see? I see a golden autumnal piece of heaven. And really, this is the front. This is the show-stopping piece because this is kind of the most seen side, if that makes sense. Now, I'm just going to kind of go round and tease maybe it's some little sections down. I'm going to just make sure that hydrangea stem is in there. I'm going to just flip down the table slightly. We're going to put our little Dalmatians back. So when I was a baby, my parents had Dalmatians. Can you believe it? And so literally, when it was actually when my brother was born, they had the two Dalmatians and they weren't um, siblings and they mated, <laughs> it's just what I had relations, shall we say, and it was literally like 101 Dalmatians. My mum must have had, it's like my dream, but Dachshunds. So she had Cameron, and when he was a newborn baby, she had all of these little spotty Dalmatians running around. I think they had seven, if not eight puppies, and then the two, obviously, mummy and daddy, running around, and these always remind me of them. It's a very, very special story. So Dalmatians are very special to my family, um, obviously, as well as sausage dogs. But really, the sausage dogs came from my grandmother. And then my mummy had Harriet Hannah, who was famous in Henley. She was probably the most famous uh, sausage dog in Henley because she used to sit at my mother's shop number nine all day. And then at lunchtime, she used to actually let herself out, trot down um, the street into Machen's, which is the butcher's. And <laughs> Gabriel Machen always used to give her a sausage, honestly. Back in the day, I feel like it's not really like that anymore. I tell you what, Odie would definitely trot down there, um, given the chance. Anyway, I'm not quite sure why I was telling you that story. Anyway, Harriet Hannah, the sausage dog, and the Dal Dalmatians. Kind of gives a little, makes more sense that way. Anyway, I'm so pleased with this. I'm going to take you off of the tripod just so that you can get a close-up of this beautiful silk arrangement. And there she is. It's real dark academia vibes. We've gone with those golden leaves, the beautiful burgundy hydrangeas, almost burgundy eucalyptus mixed in with the greens. And even those little petals there, it couldn't be more perfect. Pop the rose hips in. Even got a slight little blossom there that's not meant to be in there. We've got some fresh white berries that I think really make it pop. And then these delicious dried hydrangea heads from last year few little cow parsley bits and I think it is magical. So if we kind of walk around, each side looks presentable. This side is a little bit more golden tones and then the sort of vision that we see when walking down the stairs. A little bit difficult to show you that angle because it's so backlit, but I'm so pleased with that. And as I said, you get the same wow factor, but it's so much more sustainable and you can keep these for years and years and years and it just means that you don't have to have such a huge amount of fresh cut flowers and you still get that wow moment which i love so i mean that took us no time at all just a little bit of jiggery pokery with organizing the silks from my big <laughs> dustbin um however i'm going to be popping spring summer away and we are going to be enjoying this gorgeous arrangement for the next couple of months until, dare I say it, Christmas, which is going to be epic on every single level. So goodness gracious knows how long this vlog is, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a homey one. You guys have been able to get a little bit of an essence of what it's like on BTS on a shoot. 
and we've created a really gorgeous wholesome homey super cozy um a little bit glitz and glam <laughs> tablescape together it was a long time coming i feel like it's been a really really long time since we've created a tablescape together but let me just tell you there's so much coming i feel like we're just on the cusp of um something really exciting about to happen gosh my face i feel like my face is giving it away anyway i've still got to stay a little bit more quiet for a little while longer but the second i can scream about it i most certainly will and we will be doing everything homey together and you know me that's my favorite Thing. so i hope you guys have enjoyed this one please let me know your favorite part in the comments down below i'm currently watching a blonde bombshell chase across the lawn he's so quick that little dog anyway i hope you have a gorgeous evening or whatever time of day it is thank you for watching please please hit the like button leave a little comment down below but most importantly guys if i could ask you a huge favor and i don't feel like i ask you that often i asked you for my birthday as a little birthday present but please hit the subscribe button i see so many like tens and tens of thousands of you as returning viewers but i don't understand why you're not hitting the subscribe um so please do it would mean the world to me and my team and just ensures that i can continue creating the content that you seem to be loving anyway I've got a list as long as my arm to achieve before I've got to head off and go and collect my parents from the airport. So sending you so much love and thank you for watching.